Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to teach you the basics of the evil twin attack. So first off let's see what is an evil twin. An evil twin is a fake wireless network that appears as a genuine hotspot. The idea is to set up a malicious wireless network with the same name as the original one. Basically you are making a clone of the wireless network which you want to attack. Now, devices connected to a Wi-Fi network have no way to distinguish between two Wi-Fi networks with the same SSID name. This enables hackers to set up a fake wireless network that can capture the traffic and extract personal information from the victims. Ok, now let's see the anatomy of the evil twin attack. So first off the attacker scans the air for the target access point information like SSID name, channel number and MAC address. He then uses that information to create a malicious wireless network with the same characteristics. Now clients on the legitimate access point are repeatedly disconnected, forcing them to connect to the malicious access point. As soon as the client is connected to the fake wireless network, he may start browsing the internet and he will see a web login page saying please log in to access the internet. Now, if the client enters the password, he will be redirected to a login page. And the password will be stored in the database of the attacker machine. So, this is how the evil twin attack works behind the scene. Ok, now let's learn about captive portals, which are often used in evil twin attacks. So, a captive portal is a web page that is displayed to newly connected users of a Wi-Fi network. Captive portals are used by business centers, airports, coffee shops and other places that offer free Wi-Fi for internet users. Users can freely connect to these networks and they will often be directed to a login page where a password is required before accessing the internet. The danger in using this type of networks is that an attacker can create a clone of the wireless network with the same login page and tricking users to connect to the fake wireless network. So if this happens, then the attacker can capture sensitive information using tools like Wireshark. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.